The climate crisis is not just changing the planet, it is changing children. From the moment of conception until they grow into adulthood, the health and development of children's brains, lungs, immune systems, and other critical functions are affected by the environment they grow up in. This makes children's bodies and minds uniquely vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Children are more likely to suffer from air pollution, and deadly childhood diseases are spreading. Child malnutrition is worsening due to crop failures and rising food prices, which are exacerbated by higher temperatures and increased rainfall linked to climate change. Infants and young children are more vulnerable during extreme heat waves and flooding, which put them at risk of dehydration, injuries, and drowning. Disasters such as heat waves and flash floods are also causing more and more children to miss out on education and extreme heat has been linked to a rise in mental health problems among children and adolescents. We must act now. According to the Global Children's Climate Risk Index, Cambodia ranks a worrying 46th out of 163 countries, placing it in the top third of nations where children are facing the highest risks from climate change. Using high-resolution data, the CCRI for Cambodia delivers unprecedented evidence on the number of children currently exposed to climate and environmental hazards. It also captures children's vulnerabilities to climate threats based on their access to essential social services such as health and nutrition, water, sanitation and hygiene, education, livelihoods, and social and child protection. The CCRI reveals shocking inequalities, offering a clearer picture of the risks faced by the most vulnerable populations in the country. Nearly two million children, more than one-third of children in the country, are living in communes with a high or very high children's climate risk index. The majority of these communes are in rural areas. Nearly one-third of children are highly exposed to drought. Over half of children are highly exposed to heat, vector-borne diseases, and high wind speeds. Nearly half of children are highly exposed to riverine floods. Half of children are highly exposed to air pollution exceeding WHO guidelines. The CCRI reveals that the most vulnerable children live in communes in the northeastern region, around the Tonle Sap Lake, and in the plain. These children face greater climate risks due to insufficient basic social services, particularly in health and nutrition, followed by inadequate livelihoods and social protection, water, sanitation, and hygiene, child protection, and education. With this tool, leaders can take immediate action to develop climate-smart and child-centered policies where it is most urgent at national and local levels. Together, we must protect the lives, health, and well-being of children and the resilience of their communities by adapting essential social services to a changing climate, more frequent disasters, and degrading environment. Empower every child and youth throughout their lives with learning opportunities, education, and skills needed to become champions for the environment. Reduce greenhouse gas emissions and fulfill international agreements on sustainability and climate change. Control pollution to ensure a clean, green, and sustainable society for children. Join us in taking action. Together, we can ensure a safe and livable planet for every child.